My relationship with St Vincent's campus goes back to when I was treated for Hodgkin's lymphoma five years ago now. And during that time, I developed a close connection with the doctors and nursing staff here, or as I like to call them, the angels. Now, I've actually tried to tell the doctors here and professors, professors that I too am a doctor in my own way, that I, uh, I, I'm in the healing world. I, uh, I am not an oncologist or a hematologist or a radiologist or anything that has the word just at the end of it, but I am a songwriter. And... I, I, I have always made music to heal and I, I write songs for people to escape into, to connect, to be able to relate from experiences that I've had. But I'm here today not as a musician, I'm here as a human being who has been affected and I am so excited and truly proud that I um, am here to be the patron of this new significant cancer centre here in, for all Australians. Oh, well, I, f I, feel, I feel strong enough to be here today to be able to, you know, walk up, not walk up the corridor and see my uh, oncologist and, and be sick on him. So I think that that's a really good sign. I'm in remission. I feel great to, to be able to, you know, stand here and, and see this develop. So People differ. Each person differs and each cancer differs. And entering this new era of personalised medicine is the way forward. Your family's been touched twice, I guess, yes. by cancer. Does it make you angry in a sense? I mean, does that fuel your passion? I think those, I think those emotions have happened. <laughs> I think they you know, that, that's, and, and I always need to draw to other people because I know that I, I'm one small example of, of, of um, a different a journey that, that I had gone through. But the, at the moment, I, I want to be able to say, you know, a strong standing as a survivor and to be able to help other people. And yes, there's two people in our house that have been infected and that'll be sadly like many other Australians, well, every single Australian actually, and, and in, in a different way. <laughs>